Hey there, I'm Nelson Gasky, The Social Engineer. Today I'm going to be talking to you about just a few of the reasons why I've chosen home labbing as one of my main hobbies. Home labbing is a pretty new term, but it really precisely describes what I want to talk about today, which is basically running computers and servers inside of your house. So you're doing things on-prem if you're in the corporate world, but you're really just doing it at your house. I've been a bit of a fanboy of Synology for the past 10 years or so, and I really like to enjoy running a lot of stuff on my Synology network attached storage, as well as a whole bunch of different Raspberry Pis. I even have one sitting on my desk here which shows me how my Ethereum validator is doing. I have one downstairs that runs an NFT display. I have a monitor that I have NFTs on that kind of go through a carousel and they switch up every few seconds. So that's kind of another thing that I, I kind of enjoy. I have a Raspberry Pi running my one of my 3D printers. The Prusa is actually run uh, using a thing called OctoPrint, which I can control from my phone or any of my computers in my house. I can have a webcam hooked up to it. I can start and stop it. I got relays. You can turn the power on and off. These are the kind of things that home labbing allows you to do. I'm also running OpenSense, which is the thing that runs my routing for my internet into my house. So I have the national broadband coming in and then I have OpenSense, which is at the outside. And then I have a managed switch with a whole bunch of separate VLANs to try to have a bit of security inside my network. And then a couple more Raspberry Pis doing little odds and ends. And all up, I think about 25 or 30 Docker containers. I haven't really gotten into going into something fancier like Kubernetes or Ansible just because this is something that I know how to control myself. I know how to manage it. I know how to do updates. I've been a big fan of Docker Compose for the last few years just because it, you can really quite easily move between machines. You take that Compose file and if you've been putting your file structure correct, you just take whatever files were generated, move it to a new machine. It's one of the things that I really like, especially when you have Raspberry Pis because they do tend to fail if you're running them 24 seven, just because SD cards aren't really supposed to be run 24 seven. That's it's not really how this works. So it's, a, it's quite fun to kind of manage all these things. And I've also started to take some of these things to work where I'm now responsible for a lot of stuff very similar to what I'm doing at home at work. So I guess maybe I'm taking my home to work, not my work to home. So it's kind of something where my passions do quite align with my role. And it's something that I wish more people had with their jobs. And maybe this is something that I've curated using my skills that I've been working on, so my emotional intelligence and my social intelligence, where I kind of have been able to move myself towards having the opportunity to use some of these skills at work and then also getting a bit of credit for doing stuff that this is like well out of my lane at work. So it's kind of getting some credit where it's just like, okay, cool, we would have had to hire another person or get someone to do that, but you're able to do it. And that's something that, you know, will help when it comes to discussions for raises and things. If you're interested in this home lab stuff, stay with me and subscribe to my channel because I will be putting out more content about all the little Raspberry Pi things and how I have my network set up, why I have it set up this way, how I got into building computers and all that fun stuff. If you're interested in learning more about what I've coined the engineer's trilemma, which is emotional intelligence, intelligence and social intelligence, check out my link in the description below and join my social engineer network. I hope to see you there.